Tenet is an upcoming spy film written and directed by the legend of storytelling himself, Christopher Nolan. It stars John David Washington, best known for movies like Black Klansman and his daddy's influence. That last one is not a movie by the way. Wink wink. Starring alongside him is the new Dark Knight himself, Robert Pattinson, best known for his thirst for 17 year olds that are barely out of high school. Oh! When it comes to filmmaking, it does not get much bigger than Christopher Nolan. This is the man that single-handedly changed the whole superhero genre with his famous Dark Knight trilogy and even produced a journal on the workings of the black hole that is now being used in schools during his production of Interstellar. However, despite all his achievements in the film industry, he has only received one nod for Best Director at the Oscars and that is for his movie Dunkirk, which in my opinion I did not like very much. I mean, it's a really good movie, I enjoyed it, but it's not the best movie that he has ever directed or made. In 2010, he came close to winning an Oscar for Best Director for his movie Inception, which is just phenomenal, you should check it out, but lost it to The Hurt Locker, mostly because it was directed by a woman and we will not hear the end of it. Writer and director Christopher Nolan conceived the ideas behind Tenet over 20 years ago, but remarked, I've been working on this iteration of the script for about six or seven years. The title is a palindrome, reading the same backwards as forwards. Nolan made a conscious effort to abstain from any influence of the spy genre other than his own memory. There are a lot of speculations going around about this being Nolan's own iteration of the popular spy classic James Bond. Over the years, Nolan has expressed a lot of interest in being able to make and direct a James Bond movie. Perhaps this is it. Armed with only one word, Tenet, and fighting for the survival of the entire world, trying to prevent World War III, as the trailer suggests, the protagonist journeys through a twilight world of international espionage on a mission that will unfold into something beyond real time. However, when it comes to the plot details, in-depth details of Tenet, there is very few that we actually know because Warner Bros is keeping a tight lid on Nolan's script which has led to endless fan speculation. Many fans believing the movie is about time traveling spies. Robert Pattinson however shut this down when he confirmed that the movie does not actually have any time traveling but it does involve a feature known as time inversion which can be translated or interpreted as time reversal as the trailer itself suggests. This fits in line with Nolan's vision, being that Nolan has a reputation for creating cinematic masterpieces that are not linear in narrative. One of the best examples of this is his hit movie Memento that you should definitely check out if you have not already. That being said, it is very interesting when you look at the title that was chosen for his next epic, Tenet. The word Tenet is a palindrome, meaning it spells the same forward and backwards. And when you factor in that in the movie Tenet, the main characters are moving backwards in time but are directly impacting those that are moving forward, the title makes a whole lot of sense. We can further break down the word Tenet itself, which means a principle or belief. The main protagonist of most of Nolan's movies or features usually has a main belief that they adhere to always and is often to their detriment when they discover often too late that their belief was wrong. Take for example in Memento, when Leonard spends the whole movie searching for Sam Jenkins in belief that Sammy killed his wife, only to find out that Sam Jenkins at the end of the movie is him. He is Sam Jenkins. The phrase time travel had has been thrown around quite frequently in regard to the notion of time reversal but now that description has been rejected and this definitely tracks with Nolan seeing as he is widely considered to be materialistic let me break this one down for you even when he embarks on a project that is mostly fictional and out there he writes it and delivers it in such a way that the viewer believes that what just happened on screen is somehow feasible or plausible take interstellar for example it is a space drama that explores the concept and themes of time travel using black holes and was created during a time when no one had actually ever seen black hole but for decades theories of a black hole were deliberated upon nolan did his research with the help of theoretical scientist physicist sorry keep thorn on the inner workings of a black hole and actually made a visual representation of a black hole that no one had ever seen 
Years later, scientists managed to take a picture of a black hole and it looked exactly the way Nolan depicted it in his movie Interstellar. This just goes to show just how grounded he wants his movies to be, even if their main foundation is science fiction. Now, remember the wonderful music in Interstellar and Inception? All I'm gonna say is buckle in for something different because due to scheduling issues, legendary composer Hans Zimmer is not returning for this one. Instead, Nolan has hired Ludwig Goranson. Ludwig is I think it's German. Ludwig to produce the score. Now for those of you that do not know Ludwig, he is behind the score in everyone's favorite black tribute movie, Black Panther. Anybody that knows me knows just how much disdain I have for this movie, just how much I hate this movie. So now to go and take the guy that made the music in this movie, even though the music has no problem, it's the script of the movie. And put him in this wonderful movie that is about to happen is very, very hurtful to me. I don't know why I'm talking like that, but you're just gonna have to live with it. Anyway, I hate Black Panther, guys. I don't know, it's a horrible movie if you ask me. But I'm gonna continue. That's a video for another time. So, let's go. Now, away from all that, before I get a heart attack, the movie is being shot or was shot in seven countries. Production started in July of 2019 with weeks of filming in Estonia. Estonian Public Broadcasting reported that 18.5 million was, be was being spent on the Estonia set portion of the movie. The production shut down the country's Parnu, Parnu Highway to film an action sequence. Other countries where Tenet was filmed back in 2019 include the United Kingdom, Italy, and India. The India set portions of the movie were shot in September. Alright, now it would not be a stretch to assume that Tenet is Nolan's biggest blockbuster undertaking. The movie was shot in seven countries, something Nolan has never done and has a budget of 200 million, which is not surprising when you learn that Christopher Nolan actually crashed a real plane, the Boeing 747, during the shooting of this movie. Now, uh, one thing to take away from this, I thought that planes were more expensive than 200 million. Christopher prefers practical effects to CGI, so wherever possible, he uses practical effects. With all this under consideration, the budget of 200 million is not as big of a shock as you might think. Now, before this movie uh, even premieres, I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say that this movie is gonna be a hit. This movie is gonna be awesome, right? I've seen the trailers, and the trailers are simply awesome. It does have that thing where it reminds me a bit. Of inception right and there's speculations out there going around that this might be inception part two you know which i don't know i don't know might be true might be not we just have to wait the movie comes out in august on august on august 12th it was moved it was supposed to come out on july 31st but it was moved to august 12th but with the current uh situation that we're going on the current pandemic that we're going through the movie might be moved again i'm not sure but i hope it's not moved again the thing is, um, it has a big budget, right? It has a big budget, and Warner Bros. does not want to risk anything. So, with this pandemic going on, they're just like waiting for the right time to release it when more people will be going to theaters, you know? Because the movie has a big budget, and it must have a great opening weekend if it is going to bring all that money back and turn a profit. So, yeah, I understand why they're delaying to release the movie, but I really can't wait to see the movie. Uh, it seems like it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna blow all our minds. And the crazy thing is with this movie Christopher Nolan likes hiring actors that have a huge name uh, that makes a huge impact on the movie But with this movie he hired rising star John David Washington and Robert Pattinson who's I don't know why he's not a star yet You know he was in Twilight. I love Twilight, Twilight. but not a lot of people do apparently. So um, not a lot of uh, famous people in this movie, but you might remember Michael Caine Everybody's favorite, Alfred Butler, you know, the butler in the Dark Knight. I just hope he's not the butler in this one because that would be, you know, I mean, he plays a great butler, so that would be a good thing, but I just hope he's not the butler again. So, yeah, but anyway, uh, that's all I have for you. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, ring my ding dong so you're the first to know when I post a new video, uh, share, and drop a like. Put something in the comments for me, any feedback that you might like, or any movie that you'd like for me to do next time. Anyway, get out of here, alright, get out of here, go do something else, or, or wait for my next video, or check out my other videos, I really, I've made some pretty good videos in the past, check out the We One Jedi edition, people seem to love that one, so check out my other videos, subscribe to the channel, thank you very much.